Hey, hey girl, welcome to my channel. It's your girl, Mena. What is going on? I'm just moving my hair back because put that on. I have on a robe. This is what happens when I don't know what exactly I wanna wear, but I need to wear something in order to film. So this is what you get, a robe. <laughs> Anywho, welcome to my channel. I'm glad you're here. Today I'm trying out the NYX Born, I almost said butter gloss. What an tarnation. I'm trying out the NYX Born to Glow Naturally Radiant Foundation. This is the color Coco. Very exciting. Let me do my lip primer, e.l.f. Lip, lip primer. This is not the darkest of the shades. This is the darkest shade that I found at my Walmart. So I really hope that this fits me because if it doesn't, then I'm gonna wipe my face off and go sit down. Let me prime my face first and then we can go into that. Let me not. This might sound kind of productive, but I'm doing it anyway I'm gonna use this Revlon mattifying pore reducing primer mattifying primer luminous foundation is this luminous yeah radiant is luminous you know I did my skincare routine so it's hydrated it's just like an all-around balance you see just because you're you're wanting your face to be matte doesn't mean that you don't do your skincare routine doesn't mean that you don't hydrate and I already have on my vitamin C for the day as well one thing I'm missing is SPF don't do not follow me on that you need SPF every single day in fact I forgot I need to actually look for an SPF that it's not gonna leave me white I've heard of black girl sunscreen have you ever used black girl sunscreen I wonder if I should get it comment and let me know if you have heard and you've heard of it you have to have heard of it have you used it comments let me know okay so here we go oh dear God. Uh, 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 I'm a little concerned. I'm a little concerned. It don't look that bad, but it matches my hand more and my face is darker than my hands. Let's see. Ooh. Ooh, this might work for me. This might work. Naturally Radiant Foundation. Do we have any, uh, hello, any explanation? It wasn't in a box. So it's not like this is gonna um, excuse me, we don't have any details on this foundation. I guess I need to go to Google. <laughs> what? Is there a strobe light on the web? Ooh. Okay, this is $10 at Ulta Beauty. Let me look in the mirror, cause I gotta get, I gotta get close to this and see. Wow, yeah, it is luminous. Gotta go easy on the edges of my face, on the perimeter, so you know that I don't take a lot of product when I get to the edges of my face. I like to sheer it out because like, come on, who needs a kicked up hairline? I mean, this could work. This is looking kind of full coverage to me because I had some blemishes right there and we don't see them anymore. This is red. Cocoa is definitely red. It's not like crazy red, like the kind of red that I can't stand. It's not like that, but this is definitely red. I don't think going any lighter would help me and who knows? I could make this work. It is like, kind of red though. Let me cover my eyes. I'm not gonna do eyeshadow today. We're gonna do our natural look. I didn't know where I was gonna go with this. Soft, clean. I mean, it ain't gonna be soft. Mm -mm. Let me know. I promise you that. It ain't gonna be soft. I like it to be, <laughs> you know, glam. Natural, but glam. Like, who has time? I'm feeling like I'm getting demarcation on my chin. So I wiped off some on my, t my tissue and I'm just going like this. I don't want, oh, I forgot to color correct, but I'm actually glad I didn't. This foundation is so red. I feel like color correcting with the red orange situation would just make me look like a cuckoo person and I don't want that. All right, this is pretty. Wow, I do see luminosity on my face. Dang, why do I look so red? Let me change my setting. Lower down my saturation. Yeah, so I lowered down my saturation because it was making me look too wild. I don't look like an, I don't look like an Oompa Loompa, okay? Wow, this is pretty. It feels comfortable. It's luminous. And y'all were right. It doesn't like look like a grease. I don't look like a grease ball. It does look naturally radiant. And it's full coverage. It covered up my blemishes. Yes, wow. Here, let me get the iPad and see what they saying about this. How to use it is foundation. What do you mean? Dab it. Feel free to layer for, for fuller coverage, okay? Okay, it's a buildable medium coverage glow foundation. It has an inclusive range of 45 flattering shades. So you know what, if I go to Target, I will look for another shade that is neutral because this one is red and I would love to try this in a different shade. So this is deep, deep with a warm undertone. I'm gonna try a deep rich. It's got a cool undertone, so it's not gonna be red. All right, so let's make this work because if you know me, I usually just try to make things work even if my foundation is gray and pink. Like, what's happening? Okay, this is the Morphe Concealer in the color C4 3.5. This is actually a Morphe sponge and it's really affordable. I like to blend my concealer toward the middle of my face first before I go into the front because I want the front to set more. I want it to be more pronounced. Then turning this over and blending this down. 
I'm gonna come back to that. Now that we have let the inner part of the concealer set more, now I'm gonna blend it so that there's more coverage because I want this line to be a lot more pronounced. And when you let your foundation, when you let your concealer set a little bit more before you blend it, it's not gonna move as much, therefore giving you more coverage. And although this concealer is matte, it did allow for some time before drying, which is good. There's some matte concealers that don't allow you any time. Like if you were to have done that, you would be looking real stupid right now. <laughs> And I don't want you to look that way. I don't want that for you. you Got to be careful if you have any hyperpigmentation anywhere that you're putting this highlight concealer, you could potentially end up wiping it off. So you want to go a lot slower in those areas. So for instance, under my cheek, if I had any dark spots, I would need to go and be careful or just not even do it because it will take off the foundation and you'll see whatever dark spot I have under there. And to contour, I'm using Juvia's Place Congo Stick Foundation. This is a nice deep color for me and it doesn't move very much. So when you use a liquid concealer to contour, it moves around. It's like hard to control unless you really know what you're doing. I like a stick contour, a stick foundation to use as a contour because it doesn't move around. Move around meaning like when I'm doing this, it's not sliding everywhere. It's staying in the in the area that I put it on, which just makes life easier. When it's moving around, if you're not careful, your contour ends up being foundation, and then again, you looking stupid. I don't want that for you. Now, look at that. I took too much. However, I'm going to show you how we gonna make this work. So you're blending all of it in, getting it into the hairline, of course, because that's very, very important. I know it's annoying to have to wash your makeup off your hairline. If you have braids or you got on a wig or whatever you got going on, your hair's natural and you blow dried it and all this stuff. It's annoying and I do recognize that, but it's important that we get our makeup into our hairline, ladies. You want it to look as natural as possible. Now I'm putting this sponge everywhere where there is a line so that there are no harsh lines. And I'm doing that before I apply my setting powder. Just looking to make sure nothing's looking wild. I'm pressing it onto my tissue to get off any extra product before I go in and blend. I don't want to take any of the contour and put it onto my concealer accidentally. Now, under my cheek, I just want to clean that up because it did get a little messy. And then turning this over to blend. No harsh lines. No harsh lines. No harsh lines! <laughs> All right. Oh, I forgot my nose. Oh, I don't do this, but look, there's product on here. <laughs> look at that. Ooh, come on. Come on, precision. What is that? Oh, <laughs> let me take this brush that normally has product on it. I usually use this for this part. Maybe this has leftover product on it. Yes, it does. Praise the Lord. So I didn't have to add anything to it. <laughs> now you're probably wondering, well, then that means the brush isn't clean. You, 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 you right? It's not clean. You right. How often do you, how often do you wash your brush? questions okay I've been using this setting powder a lot because I'm just first of all it looks beautiful and second of all I'm just fascinated by how white it is and how it doesn't leave me looking white like it's just awesome it's very finely milled Ciate London everyday vacay setting powder about to use this girl to set everywhere that I highlighted okay I'm just taking off excess product making sure I have no creases before I dip it in here let's turn this over and use the precise side Ooh, that's a lot. <laughs> that's a lot. All right, so I finished my face and I'm wearing Mented Night Lip Pencil on my lip. And on the inside, I'm wearing this color called Thick Skin by Kaveen. It's Q-V-E-E-N. -E -E I don't know if it's Queen, Keen, Kaveen. Not really sure, but I got that in my Bossy Charm and I like it a lot. It's a nice nude lip color. This, this foundation looks great. I mean, I do have on highlighter. So the highlight I'm using is the Mented ABF. This is season number two. This is what it looks like. So pretty and I used very subtle, but it's still there. And then a blush. I'm using Mented Clay Too Much and Peach Please. Always, usually use those two. And these lashes are my China lashes, honey. I'll link to you below my Amazon store from where you can find lashes just like these for a low price, obviously. And if you have Prime membership, you can get them in two days. But this foundation, I do like it. Like it doesn't look 
overly dry. It looks comfortable, although it was really red in the beginning. It has evened out. Oh, powder that I use in my face is my usual cover girl, blah, blah, blah. You written all that, right? But it looks really good. It looks good, okay? So this I will use as one of my more hydrating foundations, like radiant, you know? I have on a shimmer, like a, obviously the shimmer that I use, but I can still feel a little bit of the, of the luminosity, like especially around my nose here. It's not completely dry. It just looks good. It looks comfortable. It looks good. If you don't like a, it's not exactly dewy, like wet, you know, but it's not mattifying, obviously. So I would say that this is in between. Almost like when you look at lips, you have a matte lip and you have a lip gloss. Then you have a satin lip, which is a comfortable mix of the two. I would say this is what I would call this foundation. I like it a lot. I do. So you're right. I forget who was, but I felt like it was, I felt like it was one girl on Instagram who kept saying, you gotta try it. It's not that bad. It's not that dewy. You're gonna like it. And I was like, oh, I don't like stuff called radiant glow and stuff. That ain't really for me, but I do like it a lot. So do you have a foundation? Comment and let me know. Do you like it? What color are you wearing? Do you wear this all the time? Have you ever tried it? Should I do a side-by-side -side comparison perhaps with this and another foundation? Comment and let me know. And as always, glad you're here. Thanks for watching.